Hello, this is Bern, and today I'm going to reveal seven outstanding behaviors that men only step into when they love you. So you can either have an emotional compass to guide you as you search for a life partner, or do a quick assessment to figure out where things stand right now with your man. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com. If you'd like to learn to attract your ideal life partner without the need for gimmicks, manipulation games, or stupid techniques, hit the subscribe button right now to be notified of new episodes as they come out. I was having a conversation with a former client, somebody who came to me when things were not going great. She graduated from my program and maybe six months into her relationship, I asked her, are you in love? And she said, absolutely. Uh, does he love you as much as yes? And I said, how do you know? That's a question I like, I like to ask when somebody loves someone. And she says, because he comes from my heart and he doesn't let me hide. And I said, well, tell me more about that. What does that mean? I said, well, sometimes I, I don't even know what's happening inside of me. And he cares enough to find out. I do my best to show up in ways where I express my own needs. I know I need to own that. But sometimes I'm unaware of why I'm, I can't see what I can't see. And if I share something that doesn't resonate, like my emotions and my, my words don't match, then he doesn't let me just slip away with it. He's, he'll stand strong in the kindest way and let me talk about it with him so I can come up with what's really happening and he can feel the truth of the moment instead of just letting me hide or, or not caring enough. It'd be the easiest thing for him to say, okay, great, I have two more work to do. You're saying you're fine, you're fine. But if he senses I'm not fine, he cares enough to ask. So today I'm gonna be sharing seven beautiful transformative things for a woman that men do when they're in love so that you can either evaluate if, if a guy really loves you <laughs> or you can figure out who the best partner might be based on the way they're showing up. But first I'd like to share three fundamental reasons why loving a woman deeply is one of the most beautiful and transformational things a man can ever hope to experience. And if you're one of those women who have basically almost given up, but you're still watching these videos, you're saying, hey, all men show up in, in shitty ways. Well, some men really want love. And my, my goal for you is that you know that this is possible it's not every guy that's gonna show you this, but there's definitely guys out there who want to express love the way I'm sharing right now. And the more you're clear on recognizing the patterns, the easier it will be for you to find who he is. If I ask you right now to think of a white Tesla and you go drive, you're gonna find more white Teslas today than you found in your entire life. Why? Because your eyes are searching for it. This is the same type of deal. I wanna make sure that you have the cognizant ability to recognize what true acts of love are so that you don't confuse them with something else or don't go for the shiny object of the guy that makes you feel really sexy but may not be bringing even half of the game to the table. First reason why it's life transformative to connect with a woman and express your love in the deepest way is because it's, it forces you to evolve. It forces you to become a better man. You can't continue displaying the childish part of you that would not necessarily grow up the same way if you didn't if you didn't come to a full force stop with something and someone that, that makes you be better. Why? Because if you're not better, then not only can you not continue the relationship, but you hurt the other person. And if you really care about the other person, then it's either getting out of your story or hurting that person. So you just have to get better. You have to evolve. The second reason is because it adds one million shades of color to a life that, I mean, that cannot exist in any other way, pretty much. In a way that changes your world, changes your life, changes your sense of aliveness, your sense of, of being here. We all came into this form to experience certain things and I can't think of a more transcendental experience to have when you're on this planet than to have deep devotional love for someone. Now, the third reason why loving a woman as a man is one of the most powerful things you can experience is because it lifts, lifts up your heart in an often cold and devastating world. There's so much misery and tragedy out there. There's so much beauty too. But when, when things get challenging, when things get difficult, and when the inevitable heartbreak of life, even the beautiful things in life can be heartbreaking, uh, like the change, transformation, growing children, uh, the death of people around you that you know it's their time, but it's still so heartbreaking to see them go. It allows you to have a, a companion, a friend, uh, someone to carry you through some shitty moments as you can carry her in those same moments as well. 
So those are my just just like my two cents right now. In case part of you is thinking that this doesn't exist, it does exist. It's out there for the taking. You just have to be maybe better at changing your approach, changing your strategy, changing the way you show up, changing the way you ask for what you need, changing who you get attached to quickly or not. That's the goal and that's the, the work to be done right now. <laughs> the first thing that a man who truly loves you will do is he will not get tired of wanting to get to know you. And here's what I mean. Any guy with some intelligence, because it does require some intelligence, right? Uh, can ask you questions and can pretend to be interested in you so that he can get what he wants. I mean, but through time, the more time goes by, the more things settle, the less someone has to continue pursuing you because the relationship is set, the more he can still want to get to know you because he recognizes that there's a new version of you in 2022 and a new version of you in 2023 and a different one last year, he doesn't take you for granted. He still wants to figure out what are your dreams? What are your hopes? What do you think about? What makes you unique? What makes you different? Uh, what makes you shine? What makes you happy? When he still months or years into the relationship wants to continue getting to know you and is hungry to see and figure who you are, that's someone who loves you. Someone who doesn't love you doesn't care to see what's going on inside of you. Number two is he encourages you to see yourself the way he sees you. He has a high vision of you that goes well beyond your BS, well beyond the, the bad way you might talk to yourself sometimes. And while it's, it's not his responsibility to validate you and make you feel good, that's your own responsibility. Every now and then, if you're a human being, like I am, you will go through low moments. You will go through times where you re forget who you are, where you'll see yourself as less beautiful, less intelligent, less capable, and he will stand strong like an oak in front of you, reminding you who, of who you really are. Not letting you go into the wayside of the story of what you're telling yourself. He'll remind you with his actions, with his voice, with his presence, with his love, with his eyes, with his hands, with every measure he can. He'll let you know the truth about who you are, not to make you feel good, but because it's what's true. Number three, and this is a tough one, he reveals emotionally revealing truths about himself, some of which make him feel shame. You know, it's easy for men to close off their hearts and to not express their feelings and to not express truths about them or their past or their true feelings and their needs in ways that would, because why? Because if you were to express those things, then you might in your mind, without necessarily consciously thinking about it, think of yourself as a lesser man. You think that you're less intelligent or maybe less capable or less desirable. Men have all of these constraints inside of them, reinforced by society, reinforced by a parenting style that is sometimes very harsh as to why not express themselves and not share their truth with people around them, especially a woman that they want to always have uh, receive admiration from. So when a guy is humble enough to on his knees shares, share what's happening inside of him and why he is who he is and what's taking place in his life, he's literally handing you a sharpened set of knives that you could use against him. And he's hoping and trusting you enough to not do that. So if you have a guy who instead of running away, instead of hiding, instead of being defensive about the whole thing or pretending it doesn't exist, he has the courage to talk to you and tell you about himself, it's worth something. And I know you might be thinking, well, I mean, I can do that sometimes, even though it's hard and my girlfriends can do that. We are not your girlfriends. It's much more challenging for most men to express ourselves this way because we're not as verbally intelligent and capable on the average as women. Before I reveal steps four through seven, which are pretty powerful, I'd like to make an invitation right now. If you're a single woman watching this, there's a high likelihood that you don't fully understand the truth behind why you're still single. So what I've done is I've created a quiz. It took me a, quite a bit of time to put the whole thing together, but you can take this thing in about 60 seconds and understand through taking this quiz the number one reason why you're still single. I'm not talking about the superficial side effects, I'm talking about the truth, the root cause of why you're still single, and better yet, what you can do about it right now, like today, to start shifting this and attract the kind of guy that you want. So again, all you have to do is go to the first link on the description of this video. 
you will see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions and in the next 60 seconds, you'll have the right answer as to why you're still single and can start making a shift now. Thing number four that men do when they really love you is they find, they figure out ways constantly to ease your burden in life. It could be something as simple as rubbing your shoulders, as making coffee for you in the morning, as taking out the trash, I mean, as cliche as that might be, as taking your car for repairs instead of you taking them for repairs. It might be taking an extra bit of work in the house sometimes or taking care of your children even though they're not his children. Connecting with your family and going above and beyond to serve them, not because he wants to impress them but because he loves you and he loves them as a result of that. When a guy shows up in ways where he's constantly thinking about not how can I get the best for me but how can I make her life a little bit better or a lot better, that's a guy who loves you because the easiest thing is to be selfish and to just figure out things for yourself. Number five is he proudly, and I underline proudly, shares you with his closest ones, right? It does take a special type of guy to connect you with friends and family. Not every guy does that, but it takes a more special type of guy to not just share you, but be proud of sharing you with them, of talking you up with them, of, of standing up to them to defend you when necessary. When he he adds you to his world and his life that way. When the closest human beings to him, he's saying, be part of this, connect me, join forces with me. You know that a guy loves you because he, he that's his world. I mean, those are the people who really love him, the people who see him. And to introduce you to them where if something were to happen or end, that would be kind of disruptive to the whole circle. Talks about the willingness that he has and the vision he has for having you part of his family, which is probably the thing he values most in life. Number six, he stays present with you when shit hits the fan. The easiest thing to do as a human being, but I'm telling you, you know, as a man, is when shit hits the fan, is like, okay, I'm out of here. I don't have the time. I don't have the energy. I can't have the conversation. And we all have times where that should be the case. You shouldn't be able to have conversations that are difficult at all moments of the day. But when, when you can come back to it, when you can say, okay, it's not going to be fun to have that talk with you. It's not going to be fun to listen to this thing that I really don't have any clue how to help or fix. I, I, I'm not great with emotions, but I want to hold space for you. When a man can stay present with you, when you have something to say and something he may not even want to hear, that's a man who loves you. Most men who don't love you will not make the effort. And man, men who love you, who start making the effort, who become better, at being present, at having conversations that are difficult, are, are, are keepers. <laughs> Number seven, he's courageous and humble enough to get help when he needs it. This is one, I left this one for last because it's really, really, really challenging. As I shared, part of the upbringing, socially and conditioning and subconscious that men have is that asking for help is weakness. Getting help, especially psychologist help, Oh my God, I'm, a, I'm not a crazy human being. Why should I do that? I mean, their ego takes a stand. The, their deep sense of woundedness and fear and anxiety about being less than, because that's a fear we all have, men and women, not being enough, not being loved. Those are the two universal fears that every human being, unless you're a psychopath, you know, have inside of you. So my, my thought on the whole thing is, if, if he's a guy who doesn't have what it takes right now, but he's working on it and he's getting help. I mean, again, there's limits, right? There's limits that even with that would not be worthy of saying. But when a man has the capacity to get help and, and raise his head, shaking hand <laughs> to, to say, I, I need some help, then uh, I think that's, that's a sign of not, self, not just self-love. He wouldn't do it just for himself, unfortunately. But if he is faced with the reality that he needs to step up for his family and for you, and you especially, then uh, that's an act of love. And uh, there's a couple of ways to look at this. One would be the cynical way of, well, women do this all the time, and like, uh, why should men get praised for this? Uh, I'm here to share the way, things, uh, the way things are. And the way things are is more women have gotten help traditionally. It's been more, uh, more the thing than men, but more men today are getting help than at any point in history. Even though it's still not even, it's getting better. So if you have someone who's willing to do it, just acknowledge it, recognize it, and, and know that it's a very, very challenging thing to do. Hope this is helpful and useful. As I shared before, if you want to understand the number one reason you're single, go to the first link in the description to take that quiz. If you enjoy this video, click like or thumbs up, add a comment, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel. 
Last but not least, if you're listening to my voice right now and you know you need help and the videos are not cutting it, you want more than videos to do this, then second link in the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me. If we're a fit, we'll set up a time and have a chit chat about how I can help you. Thank you so much for allowing me to your heart and to your home and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.